does Mars have the ingredients for life? Well, let's find out from the latest observations from our Curiosity rover. Hi, I'm Jim Green, Chief Scientist at NASA, and this is Gravity Assist. On this season of Gravity Assist, we're looking for life beyond Earth. I'm here with Dr. Jen Eigenbrod, and she is an astrobiologist at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center specializing in organic chemistry, geology, and potential biology of Mars and ocean environments. So today we're gonna to concentrate on what we know about the potential for life on the planet Mars. Welcome, Jen, to Gravity Assist. Thanks for having me, Jim. Happy to be here. Well, you know, you're part of a fabulous team working on a spectacular instrument on the Mars Curiosity rover called SAM, which is uh, the sample analysis at Mars instrument. Well, why are you so interested in the organic molecules? What about them is that connection to life? When we look up at the red planet, it's red. It looks like it's just rusty. <laughs> And uh, it, we, we found out so far is it's not really rusty. It's just dust on the surface that's like that. And underneath, it's actually a darker gray in a lot of places. And that darker gray tells us there's a different chemistry that's been preserved. When we started this mission, there were a lot of scientists who really doubt we were going to find any organic molecules at all. And it was because we thought the planet was rather quiet, not doing much, old and rusty but we're actually finding things. And that means that if we're finding organic molecules in three billion year old rocks, that they have been preserved over that time period. So the question is, do those organic molecules tell us anything about whether life was there or not? Certain types of organic molecules or collections of molecules are considered signatures of life, meaning they're most likely to be formed by life rather than other processes. Sorting through those and, and making sure that it's a life process versus a non-life process is kind of challenging at times. But when there's evidence of life in an Earth sample, usually you find multiple lines of evidence for that life. The fact that we found organic material in these ancient lake sediments tells us that if we look in the right place, perhaps we're going to find that evidence of life. 